a city for everyone. That means many things to many people. Für mich bedeutet es eine Stadt für Arme und Reich, wo es nicht so viel Unterschied gibt, also wo Leute, die weniger Geld haben, was machen können, für die es spannend ist und auch für die anderen. Für mich, äh, wenn wir alle die gleiche Möglichkeit haben, um eine Arbeit zu finden oder ja, zu arbeiten. Ja, egal wo man herkommt, ja. egal aus welchem ja. Land. Ja. Hamburg is a beautiful, popular city. The quality of life is very good and business is dynamic. Besides attracting visitors to Hamburg, these things encourage people to come to live and work in the city. Hamburg is a magnet for younger people, especially 20 to 40 year olds. Most come to the city from the surrounding districts, but many are from countries in the EU and other parts of the world. Right now, Hamburg is growing by about 10,000 residents per year. For centuries, Hamburg has had a cosmopolitan reputation and benefited from the skills and ideas of incoming migrants. Last year alone, there was a 2% rise in the number of people in work and paying into the social insurance scheme. It is the Senate's job to shape growth in the city and make sure that everyone shares in the good living and working conditions. Transparency and permanent dialogue on how the city is to be developed are principles of Hamburg's town planning. The Senate has defined new objectives for its program of house building and increased the targets. In future, the city aims to facilitate the building of 10,000 new apartments per year, up from the old figure of 6,000. The Alliance for Housing is a joint initiative involving the Senate, the housing industry, various associations and the borough councils. 3,000 of the 10,000 new apartments will be subsidized and affordable for people on low to normal incomes. In order to keep rents in Hamburg stable, the Senate has taken additional flanking measures, including a cap on rent increases and regulations to preserve the social mix of a neighborhood. Several thousand new apartments will be built in Hamburg's western districts. On sites once occupied by railway infrastructure, a harness racecourse, and the Holsten Brewery. In Hafen City, Harburg, Wilhelmsburg and many other districts, steps have already been taken to start building thousands of new apartments. Meanwhile, gaps between buildings are being closed, stories added to existing structures, and to unlock East Hamburg's potential, a process of moving upriver along the Elbe and the Biller was started. New neighborhoods will be created on the edges of the city too. Preparations for major developments are underway for sites in Sandbeck, Oehendorf, Oberbillwerde and Mümmelmannsberg. These projects will make a huge contribution towards achieving the house building targets. New livable neighborhoods with affordable housing are in the pipeline and the buildings will set new standards of town planning and sustainability. But we will take care to preserve the special character of Hamburg, the green city of lakes, rivers and canals. If people are to enjoy a good life in the new neighborhoods, we need to provide good transport services, an adequate supply of childcare places, good schools, attractive parks, and much more. Our society has a new, more colorful look, thanks to the variety of different lifestyles, family models, and demographic change. Therefore, neighborhoods must be different too, with apartments for every size of household, for every age, and every income. We want the new apartments and neighborhoods to satisfy the needs of their intended residents as well as possible. To this end, several options are open to local residents wanting to participate in the planning process. They can participate online, be involved in planning workshops focusing on specific areas and projects, or join in dialogue workshops organized by the Stadtwerkstatt discussion platform.
Weltoffenheit bedeutet für mich, dass man immer willkommen ist, egal wo man hinkommt. Also in Hamburg sind die Wohnungen sehr teuer, auch kleine Wohnungen. Man sollte vielleicht ein bisschen billigeren Wohnraum schaffen. Das ist wie so oft ein langer Prozess, aber ich glaube, Hamburg kriegt das besonders gut hin, Also weil wir das schon seit Jahrzehnten können.